What's up everybody, I am Jasparit Singh and welcome to the Minority Mindset. I'm sure you've heard people talk about how millennials are, you know, financially screwed. I mean, it's pretty much every news station's favorite topic. Like, how can we talk about how millennials are screwed this week? And this leads to a whole bunch of complaining with no solution to the problem, but I guess I can't complain too much because this is where Minority Mindset comes in handy because we actually teach real financial education on YouTube every week. Which reminds me, have you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the Minority Mindset channel so you don't miss our new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? And this time, Deloitte did a study and they found that the average net worth of a millennial ages 18 to 35 is less than eight thousand dollars this is someone's total net worth so if you add up the savings and investments you know assets minus liabilities this total number is less than eight thousand dollars for millennials even though around 40% of millennials have gotten a bachelor's degree or higher. To put these in perspective, in the 1990s, when baby boomers were in their 20s and 30s, the average net worth of a baby boomer then was about 50% more or about $12,000 even though only 25% of baby boomers back then had a bachelor's degree or higher. If you are a millennial, you will statistically have to work harder and longer to afford a less lavish lifestyle than the generation before you. While the majority of people will hear that and only hear negative news, it doesn't have to be like that if you don't think like the majority. That means you have to start thinking different and you have to do three things. Understand what's happening, learn, and then do something about it. Let's start by understanding what's happening exactly. We are living in a unique time that I call the digital revolution, where we are shifting away from our old economy and we are coming into a new economy. In this new economy, getting a degree is very expensive. Like the amount of student debt that new grads have almost doubled between 2004 and 2017, just 13 years. So welcome to adulthood with a slap in the face with a whole lot of debt. Previous generations didn't have this problem. Next, your wage growth has not kept up with the cost of living. Wages have gone up since the 1990s, which is very good but the amount that wages have grown has not been able to keep up with the new cost of living, inflation, and this high cost of education and student debt. Back in the 1990s, not only was college more affordable, but people didn't have cell phones. So there wasn't that $1,200 cell phone expense, and people didn't have personal computers like laptops. So there wasn't that $2,000 laptop expense that everybody wants. And people didn't have the same apps and softwares and subscriptions because nowadays the average American has a $235 monthly subscription fee to all of their apps and softwares and subscriptions. So wages went up to here, which by itself looks good, but the cost of living has gone up to here, which is why it is almost impossible for the majority of millennials to save or invest because most people are living at or above their means. And third, we still have no financial education. Now, not only are most people buying things that they can't afford, but they are financing every part of their fake rich lifestyle so they can maintain a certain standard of living. And this is so expensive because for every $1 you finance, you're gonna have to pay $2 back. Hey, you got a problem with the way I spend my money, Jaspreet? Say it to my face. Uh, okay, how about now? Not only do you have your mortgage and car payment that people had before, but you have a cell phone payment you know my thoughts on financing cell phones. You should not be financing a cell phone. You have your payments on your TV and your furniture. And now, apparently, it's becoming normal to finance your clothes. O-M-G. Financing things that you don't need, that you can't afford, that don't pay you with money that's not yours is the number one reason why the majority of people will never build wealth. Yet, this fake rich lifestyle is a new norm. <sighs> okay, Jasprit, I see how it is. Okay, now that you understand what the issue is, it's time to learn. The bad news is if you keep following this traditional path of just financing everything and living at or above your means, 
you are financially screwed. And chances are, even if you don't live large and you know how to budget your money and you're spending your money smartly, you're still not making enough money to support and live your dream lifestyle. However, the good news, because yes, there is good news, is that there are other options. From now on, no more financing anything. I know that you want that slushy machine, but you can't have it yet. Dang it, Jospreet, you never let me have the things that I want. From now on, when you spend money, I want you to use my rule of five. If you can't buy five of them, you can't afford one of them. This is an easy way to remember what you can and cannot afford. Yes, just because you can buy something doesn't mean you can afford it. Second, create a system for your money. This way, anytime you get paid, a percentage of your income will be invested and a percentage of your income will be saved. This way now, you can tell yourself, I will only spend a very, very maximum of 75% of what I make on things and the other 25% will be saved and invested every time I get paid. Third, all right, now that you've created a financial system and you're living below your means, now it's time to make more money. Look, let me be 100% straight up with you. Millennials, we are living in a new economy and many of you are trying to earn money in this new economy with old economy rules. You need to break out of your parents' and your grandparents' mindset and open your eyes to the new opportunities we have in our generation. It is becoming harder and harder to live a decent life, let alone a lavish life, following the traditional path of go to school, get an expensive degree, work a job that you hate for 40 or 45 years while saving some money and investing in your 401k. But it is also easier than ever to do something you love while making way more than you do right now at your job while having freedom if you're willing to take a risk and do something different like start a business or a side hustle and this is more accessible now than ever because of the internet. Oh, and uh, you don't have to quit your job to start doing this. I actually recommend that you start your business or side hustle on the side and when you're making enough money to quit your job, then do it. I already made a video explaining how to quit your job and I'll link it in the description below for you to watch after this video. Our parents and grandparents lived in the era of opportunity through working a job. And I'm sorry to say it, but that era is dead. We are living in a new era and a new generation of opportunity through entrepreneurship. Is it easy? Heck no! But you have unlimited possibility and if you start doing this on the side, you don't have that much to lose minus the time that you invest into learning how to do this. I'm not a wizard, but I know that you spent a lot of time learning things in school that you don't use today. So why don't you spend some time now in your free time learning things that can actually change your financial future? Third, once you learn, now it's time to do. It's easy to get excited and riled up about this and then two days later or two weeks later, you're back in the same boat as you were before. If you really want to make a change, you have to commit to changing your entire lifestyle. Yes, it's scary and yes, you will make mistakes and yeah, you will probably lose money at some point. But these are things that you're gonna have to go through. This way you can become successful. So the faster you get started and the faster you make your mistakes and the faster you screw up, the faster you'll get to where you wanna go. Every successful person has gone through failures. So make a commitment to yourself that you will spend an hour a day, every day after work, working on yourself, learning, going through courses, going through books, or actually building your business. And if you're looking for more tips on what to do or what kind of business to start or how to invest your money better, I'll link some videos for you in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button and share it with one friend so we can help spread the word. Don't miss our new videos on entrepreneurship, business, and money every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below. That way you actually find out when our new videos are released. And as always, keep hustling.